Many people have heard about orthotropics, but are not quite sure what it is based on. It's similar to orthodontics, but essentially it's about the way you hold your mouth, your, your tongue, your lips, and the position of your jaw. It's based on a premise which is called the tropic, meaning postural position, premise meaning ideal. So it's basically saying um, that the tongue should be pressed against the palate, the top of your mouth, with your lips closed, not tightly but gently, and your teeth touching gently for about four to eight hours each day. That's out of the 24. Um, the tropic premise states that if you can achieve this, your face and jaws will grow correctly and that there will be room for all 32 of your teeth. As you possibly know, most patients who have orthodontic treatment don't have room for their wisdom teeth. And it can be a nasty business sometimes taking them out. But it's easy to talk about a premise like this, but a very different thing to do it. Now, if you want your face to grow correctly and have lovely straight teeth, you have to start with the correct posture from quite young. I'm talking of four, five, six. Certainly by seven, you should be adopting that posture with your tongue on your palate, your lips touching, and your teeth just lightly touching for that time. If you fail to do that, your face will just progressively get longer, and that means that your top jaw will drop and your lower jaw will swing down and back. When that happens, the actual jaws themselves are shorter, so there is less room for the teeth, which is why very rarely do people have room for their wisdom teeth, and often in orthodontic treatment they have to take teeth out um, when they're beginning the straightening, and then later on um, when the wisdom teeth come in. However, if you can learn that posture, it will make your face grow really well, but you do need to start it really quite young. Now, um, it's not easy to put your tongue up in your palate and hold it there most of the time. But if you try just sucking your tongue so that it clicks onto your palate, that is where it should be. It's just a question of remembering to keep it there and, of course, remembering to keep your lips together. 